Yes, that's right. I do own a suit. Uh, like a lot of people in this room, I was lucky enough to work very briefly with the great John Clark. Uh, yes, come on. You know you want to. Uh, we were both in the movie Cracker Jack, and uh, I want to give you just a small example of what it was like to have a conversation with him. Uh, every day, I had to drive to work past uh, what was then the electoral office of Peter Costello, the federal treasurer at the time, and I noticed that every few days, there'd be a couple of glaziers there just replacing the glass in the front window. And I said to John, I think people are just driving past Peter Costello's office and throwing bricks through the front window. And he said, you're assuming that the bricks are coming from the outside. <laughs> Now, just off the top of his head. Over the last two weeks, we've heard hundreds of stories like that, beautiful stories, hilarious stories about the man who was, for just short of 50 years, the world's funniest New Zealander. Now, there's so many clips, so many clips I could show you to back that up, but I want to show one that you might not have seen. Uh, it's from a terrible movie. Uh, it's a New Zealand car chase film called Never Say Die, made in the 1980s. Absolute rubbish, <laughs> except for this one scene where the main characters visit a car yard run by John Clark. Watch this. She's the next rental. A uh, mate of mine thrashed the ring at her for a fair bit, bought her in here, see if I could find some bunny to fit into it. The body works pretty well rooted, uh, as you can see, but, uh, well, they never give up these old sixes, do they? You know, a little hard to start, a little hard to start. Runs like a haunted shit house for a bit, but once she warms up, uh, there's a lot of grunt under here. I wouldn't be surprised if you got the ton out of this, you know, on a decent downhill run, you know, with a brisk northerly up your freckle. Goes like a strangled fart. I reckon you got uh, 5,000 miles out of this before it craps out completely. It's got to be worth four or 500 in parts. A bit hard getting a warrant, of course. No brakes and one thing and another. Fortunately, I happen to have a warrant. It's not for this vehicle, but I will sell it to you and I will include that in the 700. 650. Cash. Done. <laughs> yes. Goes like a haunted shit house. Uh, Better than anyone else, John knew where the funny words were and how to deploy them. And the idea that he's not going to be on TV this Friday pretending to be Malcolm Turnbull or Pauline Hanson is wholly unacceptable. But luckily for us, there are literally thousands of hours of John Clark genius on the shelf for us to enjoy. <coughs> hey, good day. How you doing? Haven't seen you for a while. Just turn the telly on here, shouldn't take long to warm up. I dropped a new spark plug in her the other night, she's going pretty good now. Sit down and watch this program, they reckon it's pretty good. Gumboots they are wonderful, gumboots they are swell, because they keep out the water and they keep in the smell. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. And now, good evening. The Australian Farnaclers were literally on top of the world last night following their epoch-making victory against the formidable East German Farnacling machine. Hey, Farnaclers, gather round. Gather on the grommet and gather on the ground. The atmosphere's electric. We're waiting for the sound to open the beginning of the first war bull. He was instrumental in one almost magical arkle just before the umlaut when he knocked one up from well outside the Whiffenwacker by deflecting the gonad with his foot while being tackled. <laughs> I don't care what the most intelligent thing is to do, son. I'm Jeff Kennett. Yes, well, fair I'm enough. I'm Jeff Kennett. Yes, I know. That's who I am, yes. Jeff Kennett. So I realise. Not that. interested in what's intelligent, buddy boy. I'm going to be Jeff Kennett. Were you opposed to the ordination of women? Yes, I am. And could I preempt your next question by saying this is nothing discriminatory against um... women? Pardon? Women? Where? So I was further up George Bush's art. I, I was a lot more in favour of American foreign policy than you were. Well, I was up there first, and you know it. Yeah, well, I was further up. I was a long way up. It was dark where I was. There was no light. You couldn't bloody see. Didn't think the GST was good for Australia. Why did Australia, you... Australia. Australia. Good you for didn't Australia. It was good for Australia. Good for Australia. Yeah. Why oh, did, when why I did... said it was good for Australia, I honestly believed it'd be good for Australia. But Australia's not going to get it. Australia isn't going to get one. That's Australia's fault, not my fault. Australia didn't want one. Australia chucked it out. They're very exciting here, Brian. Although there are some problems. Well, there are a couple of problems with the village, but they'll sort something out, I'm sure. What are the problems with the village? It's supposed to be a village, Brian, but I'm sure they'll sort something out. Hey, Mr. Wilson, have you measured the 100 metres track? Yes, of course. Well, let me ask you, how long is it? 94 metres. 
94 meters. 94 meters. Well, we've got a new event, haven't we, Mr. Wilson? The 94 meters. In fact, we've got two new events, haven't we? The 94 meters for men and the 94 meters for women. So you're not going to be able to see much, though. I mean, think about the badminton. It's going to look about that big down here. It'll be like watching seahorses getting fluff out of one another's whiskers about a quarter of a mile off the coast. John, is this going to work? It's got to work, Gina. The real seekers aren't available. Big Dave Sorensen stepping on the sward, arkling backwards, arkling forwards, arkling from all fours. Oh, good Lord, now that's a phenomenal arc! Here comes Sorensen arkling at will, passing the defenders arkling still. Look at that for poetry, symmetry and rhyme, he's a legend in his own injury time. Gets in a lot of trouble, but he's up, listen, mine. You get on with it, I'll get out of your way now, I'll see you later.